Yeah, really confident, low scoring game, um, but thought we would we would get home. Uh, but it was about then I started to get a bit nervous. You talk about my emotions. Um, I'd been down the bench, but then couldn't sit there anymore. So I went upstairs where uh, Mark Chilton and Glen Chapel were. I was pacing up and down, and it just got worse and worse and as the over went on, plus a couple of wickets. Um, it was horrendous. Well then, that's gone up a long way. Long's coming round and takes the catch. Well then, is that out? Should be out. Is out! Two and two for Coles. It's one of those you probably don't want to be fresh to the crease going to the last over and. Uh, yeah, but it would be nice to hit the winning runs, but it wasn't to be. And uh, yeah, like Joss again said, it's silly innings for us. And, and we had uh, Jimmy Faulkner in and around the overs before to, to calm things down. And uh, yeah, it was another one that we had some, some good heads around and, and full of belief that we'd do it. Well, what went through your head um, when Butler got out, but probably more so when Croft got out? Yeah, this can't be happening. You know, we got ourselves into a position and played some really good cricket where we should win the game. And then. You naturally, it's in all of us that you start to fear the worst. And again, it's in those situations. I, I love being a coach, and I don't want to be a player anymore. But you'd rather be out there because I think, in it, to a degree, you're calmer because it's in front of you. You know what you've got to do. But when you sit on the sidelines and you're just uh, helpless, well, you just got to wait. And uh, but fortunately, the guy's got us over the line. That's his slot, but he hasn't found the middle of the bat. He should come back for two, will come back for two. Good running. Can't sit down. How have they squandered this? The Rob Keep. Mad. Down the ground. Can they come back for two? They should come back for two. They do come back for two. And they know that they only need two celebrations for Lancashire. They made it so tough for themselves. But the cool head in the end of James Faulkner has just about seen them over the line. You have to feel for Kent. They threw absolutely everything at the end of that game. They played br a brilliant, brilliant quarter final. There's a bit of confusion at, at first to, to know if, if we won, and, and, and obviously a few seconds after it was a, a, ma a massive uh, relief and to, to get to finals day. Uh, for the second year in a row was great and we wanted to, to put it right from what, what went on the previous year. I mean, just absolute relief. We, we tied the game but won on, on the wickets. Um, so there's a little bit still just, even though all our guys are celebrating, still a little bit of you think, are we sure about this? Have we won this game? You know, can we start celebrating? And then it, it is just pure relief. And you feel exhausted and drained at the end of a day like that. And, uh, but again, that's the roller coaster of, of cricket and professional sport all round, really.